A professional basketball league was created to rival the NBA D-League. It recruited top high school prospects, signed several former NBA first round picks, was even set to have its draft Thursday. One big problem, the league was founded by a man who doesn't exist. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN basketball writer Jeff Goodman. Jeff Glendon Alexander, former McDonald's All-American in the 90s, been convicted of multiple crimes, founded the Amera League as Saruti Brown, who's not a real person. How could all of this happen? Well, he started this thing up uh, months ago, and he's got a history of being a scam artist, and this is his latest scam. Uh, started this league, uh, which was intended to go after former NBA guys that were maybe uh, cast-offs, guys looking for maybe their final opportunity, David Harrison being one of them, uh, Royce White, uh, a former first-round pick just a few years ago, uh, guys that were names in college like Mike Cabongo. And you know what? He, he sold himself. He did. He sold himself. Uh, these agents figured that, you know what, it was worth rolling the dice on something like this because he was sending over contracts, official contracts, uh, you know, worth uh, salaries of in the $150,000, $200,000 range. Uh, the first paycheck for these players – uh, was set to be given out this Sunday uh, after what was going to be today's draft, and we don't know what's going to happen now. Uh, so it came out earlier this week, really, a coach resigned, a president of the league resigned, uh, and it started to filter out that this guy was not who he said he was. He was, in fact, Glendon Alexander, former McDonald's All-American, started his career at Arkansas, transferred to Oklahoma State, and has had a sketchy past. Jeff, you mentioned we don't know what's going to happen to the league. It was set to have its draft. What's next for the league? And, and were all these contracts just completely fake? Um, we don't know that yet. You know, uh, I, I think right now uh, the agents are still waiting to see if uh, this investor that Sir Rudy Brown, Glenn Alexander, whatever you want to call him, had been mentioning uh, truly exists uh, because he told – uh, one of his point people in the office, and there weren't many people in the office, uh, but he told, uh, you know, this guy, uh, Marcus Bass, that today there would be a change in ownership, that, that he would go in and tell everybody, Marcus Bass would, all the employees that, that Saruti Brown were out of the equation and that somebody new would be coming in ownership-wise and uh, maybe it's this investor. So we'll see what happens at this point. Obviously, uh, many are skeptical that I've talked with. Uh, the agents are having a lot of their players pull out already. So I don't know how this thing could possibly exist going forward, although the idea, uh, the concept was, was certainly intriguing. Do we know what's going to happen to Alexander? Is he going to face any punishment here? You know, he, he, he lives in Vegas, and I would think it's safe to say he will be sued. Uh, by various people he's dealt with. Uh, he has not returned, I don't know, 10 calls and text messages at this point. Uh, so we'll see what, happen, uh, what happens with him going forward. That's ESPN basketball insider Jeff Goodman for the latest on this developing story about the AmeriLeague. Keep it on ESPN.com as well as ESPN.com's Outside the Lines page.